so glad to have you here today once again first of all i want to appreciate all my youtube channel subscribers today and one more thing i want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel i want you to just do that right away before watching this video because the content here is is heavy it's something that will really help you in your graphic design journey as an upcoming graphic designer or even an amateur graphic designer or a pro graphic designer here i share daily tips that i apply daily to my work the time we come i'll be talking about the business side of this whole thing because it's one thing to have a skill another thing to know how to use it but that's not the business of today today i'll be talking about how you can create um blur, blurry backgrounds and how you can use them creatively how you can create blur backgrounds and how you can use them creatively in your career draw and you can also do that in adobe photoshop but today i'm focusing on career draw maybe our next class will be on how you can do same with your photoshop so let me open my color draw <coughs> now blurry backgrounds has actually played great roles in graphic design um before i go into the exercise i will tell you the different types of blur effect we have because most of my designs are always coming out with blur backgrounds because they give detail to us if I put on them so this is my color draw I will go to effects I'll click on effect this is blur click on blur now if you look at it we have directional smooth okay let me put a background on this this workspace so that you can see those things coming out all right let's play around with this background now i want to thank a vector stock for making the download of this background free and making it available for use from the internet so this is the background we're going to be working on first effect blur now you see we have directional smooth which is a blur effect we have feather which is a blur effect we have gaussian blur which is also a blur effect we have jaggy des despaco which is also a blur effect we have low pass which is also a blur effect we have motion blur which is also a blur effect we have radiant blur which is also a blur effect we have smart blur smooth we have soften we have zoom so for instance i want to work with this background let me blur this background let me use the gaussian blur you see the effect okay now you can reduce the radius here you can actually reduce the radius that's the impact of the blur of the effect the impact of the blur effect you can see that's blur effect sorry gaussian blur effect i will cancel it because i want to show you other effects the feather okay the feather has to do with three different places it has three different modes the curved the line the linear then the gaussian so you have the curved which is affecting the the outlines of the background is affecting the outside or the outline now if 
I say linear you can you can see the difference between the two now Gaussian you can see the difference between the two how it's changing so this the the end part of this I'll take another blur effect you can use any of them I'll take the motion blur uh, I, I mostly use the motion blur and the Gaussian blur that's what I use mostly in my graphic design so this will give you a motion effect so if you are creating something that has speed wanted to do that so effect blow cation blow you can see so we have this you can see this you can use this for your graphic design let me get another background okay I clip it inside and you can also blow cushion blow all right give you that smooth effect that smooth effect so that's how you blow your backgrounds and you can use them for your designs this that's how you create blow backgrounds when you have okay so that's how you create blow, blow backgrounds and you use them once again I want to thank all my YouTube subscribers and I want you to really keep watching these videos if you like this video and if this video has helped you I want you to like it I want you to share it I want you to subscribe to this channel and I also want you to turn on your notification bell so that whenever I make a post or whenever I said I'm going to do a video and I didn't do it or I didn't post it on time you will still get a notification I think that's a good thing for you to be aware of so thank you so much my subscribers thank you for those commenting for those liking my videos thank you and thank you so much so have a great day